Welcome to the Autumn Acorn Knits. My name is Judy. This is a podcast about knitting, crocheting, and yarn dyeing. The Upside Down Cowl was the pattern in my January Knit Crates box. As soon as I saw the yarn for this pattern, I knew I had to make it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a worsted merino, colorway concrete jungle. And this is a Brooklyn Boy Knits yarn. Just gorgeous. This yarn is so soft and squishy, but mainly what hooked me was the actual project. Um, this cowl is absolutely stunning. Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead Crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed From a window in the mighty clouds up high I can touch a stream of gold If you're interested in getting Knit Crate for yourself, I hope you'll use the link that I provide for you in the show notes. It would give me a small commission and I would really appreciate it. I think you'll love this subscription box. It's like Christmas every month. And for 20% off your first month's box, just use coupon code AUTUMN20. Thank you. Let the force in, and I am above, above, I feel above, oh. You have seen a thousand lovers me. I'm finally ready to get serious about gardening this year, and I thought it was about time I started a compost collection. So here are the humble beginnings of my compost pile. So it only took me until February to come up with my word of the year. Typically, over the last few years, every January, I choose a word and I write it down and then that becomes my focus. This year, my word is awareness. This is something that um, is a personal goal of mine, to be more aware of my surroundings. Because I'm an HSP, or a highly sensory processing person, it takes a lot out of me uh, when I'm in a social situation or in a public space. So I may be hyper-focusing on one thing and missing out on so much more. So I'm just going to simply be more present and more aware of my surroundings. We'll see how it goes.
work to make me these progress keepers and stitch markers and I think they're a really nice little way to say thank you to my customers so I like to include them in yarn orders. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Peace Fleece Yarn? This is the first time that I've actually tried it, but I thought their story was pretty awesome. They started their company in 1986 in response to the Cold War, and they made a trade agreement with Russia, or the Soviet Union. And recently, in 2008, uh, I'm sorry, in 2010, they started to work with the Lakota and Dakota Native American Indians, and they purchased Rambouillet wool from the Cook Ranch, which is in South Dakota. And so that's what they've been doing. So the wool that I'm using is 80% um, Navajo Rambouillet and domestic fine wool and 20% mohair. Um, this is a worsted weight yarn and they recommend a size 8 needles. Uh, the color I'm using is Antarctic white and it is just beautiful. And they say the yarn will get better when you wash it. Um, they actually say that it softens and fluff fluffs up so I'm excited. I'm working on another secret project and I can't really tell you too much about it yet except that I'm using Peace Fleece yarn and we've talked about that already and I think this is going to be a really cozy big chunky knit that everyone will want to wear. so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll follow me on Instagram so that I can follow you back if you'd like more of this content please like this video and subscribe thank you stick around for a peek at all of the knitting and crocheting designs that I have published um, over the last year I hope you enjoy it